I do all my clothing by hand, and I love sewing by hand. I remember very early on going to a show where I was asked to lecture, and um, there were several other, you know, lecturers there, and they all had these quilts. I was invited the next year, and they all had different quilts, and I still had my same three quilts, because it takes me a year to finish a quilt, and I thought, oh, this is terrible. Look at all this work they've done, and that's all, you know, maybe I should think about, you know, sewing some quilts by machine, and I came home, and I started one in the machine, and I hated it. I never finished the quilt, I, and I hated it. I finally said to myself, if if they invite me again and I have the same three quilts that I had the last time and they don't like it, then they don't have to ask me the next time. And, and I just sort of went, you know, that direction. Now, I always say I got into fabric designing through the back door, not the front door. I received a phone call from Nancy Puentes and Carrie Bresenham and they are the organizers of the Houston International Quilt Festival. It was a time when quilt, independent quilt stores were having a really hard time making a go of it because there were still a lot of chain stores around and selling fabrics because the chain stores could buy in such bulk quantity, um, they could buy at a cheaper price and so their fabrics were cheaper than the quilt store. So people would go to the quilt store to get the expertise and the help and then they'd turn around and go to the uh, chain store to buy the the fabrics and so it was hard and so they approached um, the IP a company in New York and said we would like to know if we could work with you to design a line of fabrics that would be only available to the quilt stores to kind of help get a boost. They agreed and then they also agreed amongst them that this line of fabric would probably have a little bit better credibility or whatever if they had a quilter's name associated with it. So they called me to ask if I would be interested in working with the IP to do that. So through the back door instead of the front door, I worked with the IP for three years. And um, after that, they decided that this, now we're talking 1984, they decided that quilt making had reached its peak and they were going to get out of the quilt making field and go in a different direction. And it was at that time that um, I got a call from RJR and saying, we heard you're not working with VIP anymore, would you be interested in working with us? So that's sort of how that came about. The palette of colors that I designed for RJR, we started with 100, and then I told them that wasn't enough, and so we went to 124, and I told them that wasn't enough, and we went to 150, and I said, we still need more, and he said, that's it. You don't get any more. But um, I tried to get colors that pretty much span the color spectrum. Occasionally, we change the prints. Pretty much the sort of my philosophy is that, you know, like you can pick two colors, pick two colors, just pick a card I'll take that one. and then something else completely separate somewhere else. Okay, so we've got purple and blue. So my sort of philosophy is, okay, those you can use, actually they're not too bad together just the way they are, but I, um, Generally, I go, well, okay, you add whatever you need to add. I kind of shade them together. So I go from the blue into a really dark blue, and then you can go from the purple down, and you manage to get those colors shaded together. Then they, they look okay. And you can pick two, any two colors, and if you can shade them together, you usually end up with a nice color palette. Very simple. Yeah, it's very simple. It just needs a little practice. I think part of the job of a shop owner is to carry on the skills and to teach the people. And I now have a shop. I've had it two and a half years. And I love teaching the hand quilting classes in my shop. And particularly because I do so much lecturing, so I really have enjoyed my hand piecing classes that I teach. If you love what you're doing and you follow the path where it leads you, it's going to lead you somewhere.